What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about the Apple A12 processor, which is currently in all of the new iPhones that are out. Uh, the iPhone XS, XS Max, and also, also that will be in the iPhone XR. And this, as you know, this processor is a 2018 processor. And per Ice Universe, who's posted some benchmarks on his Twitter, it's still going to be the fastest processor available. First off, let's look at the score for the A12 processor with a single core of 4822 and a multi of 11508. Next, we look at the Snapdragon 855, which is not out yet in terms of you know being in an actual phone but here's the scores 3469 and 1002 59 and then lastly you're looking at the Kirin 980 and this has a score of 3390 and 10318 now does this mean anything bad for Android or Huawei not really I mean if you think about the phone that you have now most people have a Snapdragon 845 all the new Galaxy phones have it and they run really really well the OnePlus has it, uh, the new Pixel will have it. The Pixel has an 835, you know, last year's Pixel, and it runs wonderful. You know, day-to-day -day stuff, you're not gonna really notice any difference. Even gaming, gaming, when you play these games on a Snapdragon 845, plays absolutely fine. So day-to-day -day stuff and gaming, it's really not a big deal. It's just impressive, to say the least, just to show that, you know, a processor that's gonna be basically, you know, months old at the po that point, I guess, you know, five, four or five months old, is still the best uh, processing amount of power in a, in a processor. It's pretty impressive. Next up, Google has put out a commercial in Japan showing off what should be the Active Edge on the Pixel 3. Now, Active Edge was on the Pixel 2 and 2XL as well. Basically, you squeeze your phone and it brings up Google Assistant, and that's all it does. You're unable to change it to anything else, unfortunately. But also in this commercial, they show off basically the colors that will be available with the Pixel 3 and 3XL, which would be black, white, green, and pink. At that point, the green's obviously kind of gonna be more of like a mintish color. I would most likely either go white gr or green at that point. I mean, I'd still go black, but the white and the green are definitely the most colors that I would definitely be going after. What about you guys? And the last story of the day comes from WinFuture. They posted some more photos and information on the OnePlus 6T. Now, we know pretty much everything about this phone they've just you know confirmed what we've already really known and that is obviously the design that we're seeing here is the two cameras on the back and then the flash below that oneplus logo and then on the front again almost all display a slightly small bezel at the bottom and then at the top a little teardrop to uh, have house the front facing camera but anyways all screen on there snapdragon 845 eight gigabytes of RAM, the display uh, 2340 by 1080 pixels, which will be an OLED panel. You're also looking at uh, this coming in the colors of mirror black and midnight black. Also the OnePlus 60 should have a larger battery because I've gotten rid of the headphone jack, 3700 milliamps was the battery on the last phone. It should also run Android 9.0 Pi, and then storage, you see they're gonna come in 64 or 128, just to start off. I would assume it's gonna be 128. So there you guys go, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, new videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, where's one place you would like to visit in the world and why? Thanks for watching me, Japan. I just don't wanna fly that far, it's a super long flight, but I would love to visit Japan. Thanks for watching, see you down the road. Peace.